Jonathan Joseph James by Madison Gomez Spencer. Jonathan Joseph James, born December 12, 1983, and died May 18, 2008. He grew up in South Florida. He was prone to having depression, but he was also the first juvenile to be convicted of a cybercrime in the United States. His victims are Bell South, an American telecommunications holding company, the Miami-Dade School System, and the division in the Department of Defense called Defense Threat Reduction Agency. For the Bell South and Miami-Dade school system, James only committed a series of intrusions. He caught the attention of federal authorities when he hacked into the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. He installed an unauthorized backdoor into the computer server, which then he installed a sniffer that intercepted over 3,000 messages passing to and from DTRA employees, along with usernames and passwords. The software that he took was the International Space Station source code that controlled the temperature and humidity within the living space. These crimes occurred between August 23, 1999 and October 27, 1999. He was only 15 years old. These crimes occurred in Doles, Virginia, Huntsville, Alabama, and Miami, Florida. The Department of Defense, NASA, and Pinecrest Police Department raided James' house in 2000 on September 21st. He came to an agreement with the U.S. Attorney Guy Lewis, pleading guilty to two counts of juvenile delinquency in exchange for a lenient sentence. He was given seven months house arrest and probation until the age of 18. He was also told he had to write letters of apology to NASA and the Department of Defense. He was banned from using computers with mods for recreational purposes, and he violated his probation testing positive for drug use, in which he was flown to Alabama Federal Correctional Facility, where he ultimately served six months. Legal experts have suggested that James' level of crimes could have had him serving at least 10 years for his crimes if he was an adult at the time. In 2008, unfortunately, Jonathan James was found dead in the shower. He killed himself by shooting himself in the head. His suicide could have been motivated by the belief that he would be prosecuted for crimes he had not committed. He wrote in his suicide note that, I honestly, honestly had nothing to do with TJX, and I have no faith in the justice system. Perhaps my actions today in this letter will send a stronger message to the public. Either way, I have lost control over the situation, and this is my only way to regain control.